Brayhead winning by four goals to two tonight. With me is the head coach, Ryan Finnerty. Uh, Ryan, you'll be a happier man tonight, is that fair? Yeah, obviously, happy with the win. Uh, a much needed win for us. Uh, sure. You know, I thought we, we, we played well in, in, in spurts and we looked like a team maybe running on low confidence. So hopefully we can, we can take uh, the positives out of this game and, and carry it on in, into Sunday. Now, I gather you were unhappy after the, the game on Wednesday down in Hull. How is that different from tonight? What did you say to the players to, to get them going for tonight's game? Uh, it's, it's, you know what, it's been, it's been a, long, a long kind of run here where we haven't been playing well. Uh, I think the, the injection of, of Mario LaRock helped a lot, you know, brought some, some new life in, into the room, uh, some much needed new life. And, uh, you know, I thought he had a great game tonight. And, you know, we just needed to, to keep things very simple and play a very low risk game. And I think we did that for the most part. You know, a couple turnovers here. They, they Jonesy came up big when we needed them. But, you know, I felt uh, I felt our power play units looked really good. You know, we, we didn't convert, but I thought we had great chances. And I felt we uh, uh, both lines looked dangerous. Uh, the addition of, of Larock back there, he's got a great shot and he's uh, he's very composed on the puck. So, that that that's been. Uh, that's been that's been huge for us, and I think it's only going to get better as, as he gets more. Uh, you know, he hasn't played all season, so as he gets more comfortable out there, that that'll improve our, our unit. Take you back to last Saturday. Clan went three two ahead against Hull late on. Did the same again tonight. Were you worried that, that Fife could have struck it again and, and equalised late on again, like the way Hull did? Well, obviously, it's it's been happening, and you get concerned, and you want to you want to tighten up defensively. I thought the guys, uh, our bench management, uh, as far as how we controlled when we had the lead and how we played was a lot better. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought we we put pucks in, in safe areas as, as opposed to as opposed to putting ourselves in a situation where we can turn them over and, and get guys caught below the puck. So I thought that we uh, we were much more responsible on the ice with, with the time management there and you know we didn't limit them to, to a whole lot. Um, you know, I thought our penalty kill came up huge at five on three came up huge for us there. Uh, you know that, that they score a goal there into a different game. So you know there there were a lot of positives. I think we need to we need to energize from this and 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 guys need to, to take what they can, all the positives, and we got to bring it into a game, uh, a big game for us Sunday. I mean, we're, we're back joint third place right now. You know, we haven't been playing well, but it's not like we're in a, a massive hole. You know, I think we still can, can control what we want to do here, and, and that, that's the message. we gotta, uh, we got to take it game by game right now, and, and if, we can, if we can chip away and take the positives and, and get, get better, I, you know, I think we'll, we'll find some success going forward. How big a weekend is this in terms of the narrative for the season? There's been that slump recently. We've got five home here tonight. Hull are back here on, on Sunday as well. In terms of the whole season, how, how big a weekend is this? Well, they're all big now. You know, it, every every game's the, the biggest game of the year now. You get down the stretch, and, and like I was telling the guys, we're going to blink, and it's going to be the end of March. You know, and and uh, we we got to we got to take control now. And you know, we're, we're we're playing some very good teams. Hull's a very good team. And, and then we got Belfast and then Dundee, Dundee. So, you know, this is a massive, massive part of the stretch. But right now we, we're just happy with happy with the win tonight and take what take what we need to here and, and try to improve in, uh, on Sunday. Talk a wee bit more about Mario Laroc. He's come in earlier in the week. You were happy with his uh, performance tonight. What will he bring to the team for the rest of the season? I think he obviously he, he, he's a big guy. He, he uh he plays tough in the corners. He, he likes to, you know, he likes to play physical. But he's probably going to be, he's going to be our quarterback. You know, he's going to be our go-to guy in the power play. Um, you know, he's he's a guy that put up huge points since leaving Nottingham. He's, uh, you know, tonight he comes steps off the plane. I thought he, I thought he looked great. You know, I thought I thought he looked very composed on the on the puck. He, mm -hmm. His sticks are still somewhere in New York, so he's playing with a different pattern. <laughs> and, you know, and, it, and it's not an excuse. It, it's tough. It's tough to, yeah. to play with a different pattern and. You know, you're used to it all his life, especially at his age. He's been playing for a while. So, no, you know, I, you know, I said I saw a lot of positives there. I think he's, he's very, uh, very positive and, and uh, he communicates well on the bench. You know, so he's got some good leadership skill. And it's something we need. We need kind of an old, an old presence back there. But uh, Mario's here to, to quarterback our power play and, and to be that guy on the point. And he's going to lug a lot of minutes. And like I said, I, I, was, uh, I, I was pleased with, with what I saw tonight. Thanks very much, Ryan.